Alright, this is another how-to video. Keep getting a lot of questions about lippage on tile or so-called toe kicks. This is actually a shower wall. These same spacers and wedges I'm using, they can be used on the floor, backsplash, showers, you name it, any kind of wall tile. Pretty cool design. You can order the spacers at your local tile store, most of them carry them now, um, or Amazon, eBay, whatnot. There's a pair of pliers, which are pretty cool. They've got a gauge on them that you can set here on the back. Basically, you'll take them pliers, and put your wedge in side of the red spacer that goes behind the tile. Then you'll take them and squeeze them down. You'll set your depth here with the black round thing, which you can see the dial right there with my finger. You set it, you set it so that it doesn't break them. These things will break pretty easily. The red spacers will. Once you're done tiling, all you gotta do is, is clip them down hard. It'll break the wedge out. The wedges are all reusable. You soak them in water when you're done. The red spacer will only leave a little small piece behind. I'm going to stick a tile on and show you how I roll. So we're at the end of this run here. My spacers are in, my mud's in. Sorry, I'm kind of doing this one-handed. So, we've got our, got our spacer in. We're right here on the edge of our tile edging. I usually take and I'll hand set my spacers. I'll just push them in, and click them a couple of times, just kind of top, bottom. Same thing here, top, bottom. Squish them in, squish them in. Two more. All right, and again, here. And last one. You hear you can hear them popping. They've got little little grooves in them that actually catch inside of that spacer. All right, now here's our tool. So right now we've got a pretty good lip right there. My fingers nailing the lip. Maybe hard to see in this video, but this is basically all you've got to do. So once you get your tile lined up and you're all level, I start with the bottom row. Ready? Crank it down. Crank it down. Again. And again. And that will basically push that tile flat to the wall. There's no lips. Nowhere. And this is how I run all of my shower tile, floor tile, any tile I do. They work really good. I do a lot of brick pattern. Do a lot of diagonals. Keep everything nice and tight, no lips. Really no room for error if you're using these. Before you start your next run, or before you grout up too far, I always take my finger, rub that glue across the top off. Sorry, this video is gonna be moving quite a bit. I got my clean wet rag, clean the edge of that tile back off. That way you don't have to do it later. Prep is all the key to tiling. The more you can prep it while you're working with wet glue, the way better off you'll be. Less mess in the long run. Then I'll just add my next row of spacers and use them accordingly depending on what your pattern is gonna be. And that's it. Thanks for watching.